Hello, this is James Page at the FTTH conference here in Berlin, and I'm really pleased to say uh, I've managed to literally grab Angie Hagerman away from her, the session that she's just finished uh, downstairs in the main hall. Angie is the Chief Construction Officer for UGG, and you're going to tell me how we would properly say that in German, but firstly, thanks for, thanks for joining us and thanks for managing to get you away from quite a throng at the end of your session today. Thank you for having me here, and we pronounce it unsere grüne Glasfaser. Thank you. Not that. easy in German, we know. Okay, we know. <laughs> great. Um, look, we just had a really well attended session, and lots of questions, and lots of people wanting to, to come and talk to you at the end about various interesting technical aspects that were discussed in, in, a, in a lively session. But I mean, from a, from a German perspective, and knowing that we have 30 million people in Germany still unable to access fiber currently. You talked in the session about the importance of scaling. Maybe you could give us a bit more detail on what that, what that means and why it's so important. Yeah, scaling in the fiber rollout is quite important because as you said, there are lots of inhabitants in the country, mainly in the rural and suburban areas, not having access to fiber. And as we know, fiber and Wi-Fi and being connected the whole time uh, is crucial and key for us living in this society at the moment and for scaling we talk about bringing the network fast to the people but bringing networks fast to the people means that we also need to take care about the quality and we say that is always linked together to at the end make sure that we have the right people the right partner and the right processes on the ground to make sure that we can really scale up and make it happen that in the rural areas also the people have the access that is needed there urgently. So thank you, really, really interesting. So th thinking about, so you also talked about open access and, and that must be absolutely crucial in terms of scaling up because that's just going to get everybody building and, and operating much, much faster and delivering services much more quickly. It's true, it's true. Um, as I said also in the panel, in the OECD country comparison, Germany is flop three. So the last one on the low list of uh, the comparison of the countries. And if we talk about open access, then we talk about competition on the networks instead of competition for the networks. Because at the end, why should we roll out two, three, four, five networks in one single street, in one single municipality? At the end, the consumer can only use one line and the comp competition is worthful to have that um, with the open access that all the competitors can use the network. Sure. Um, I, there's one other topic we're going to talk about briefly, but you've, you've mentioned the role of the consumer mm -hmm. there. Um, and there was discussion there about you know, the importance of a consumer understanding uh, some, sometimes some quite complicated information in order to be able to work out why something might not be working on this system when you've got networks to think about, you've got the in-house aspect of it. Do you think we ask too much of consumers sometimes? Yeah, I think the consumer at the end is key because the consumer is the one using the network. It's not that we build out networks for the sake of building out networks. We want the consumer to use that. And of course, the consumer might maybe not know all the use cases that he or she could use in the moment when the network is rolled out. And I think on that one, we need to elaborate, we need to support. We also need to train the consumers that it's not only Netflix. Of course, that's an important use case for the people. But going forward, we also talk about business-related topics like AI, for example, where you need, of course, high fiber consume by business customers, for example, but business customers are also private customers when they stay in home office, and then for that one, they need to re rely on good fiber connections, for example. Yeah, okay, so we're, we're thinking about network rollout um, and thinking about that, that term overbuild, um, mm -hmm. know from other um, speeches that we've seen where there's now sort of a regulatory imperative to, and, and very much the uh, European Union thinking about what's the right level of overbuild and how far you can regulate on that. What, where do you stand on overbuild? Is it useful for speeding up, but where does it go too far? I think it's not useful for speeding up because overbuilding networks at the end will bring us away from the open access of the one network in a municipality. It can make sense if we talk about 100 meters where networks are crossing each other, then it makes maybe not sense to use and leverage the same network. But building out two networks in one street is completely crap from an economically but also ecological perspective and um, because at the end you waste resources you put plastic in the ground you put materials in the ground which might not be needed because you already have that network and in the german market we currently experience an over announcing overselling 
and then maybe overbuilding at the end of the chain. Um, but this overbuilding mainly concentrates on the city centers, mm -hmm. so the dense areas, and then afterwards it's quite intense to put all the other consumers um, into construction if one of your competitors already built out like the dense areas because maybe you need to put out the infrastructure over there. Yes, and that makes even less sense in more of a rural area where you'd be concentrating exactly. On, exactly. on extending the networks to. Exactly. Really interesting. Okay, look, thank you. It sounds to me like uh, you, you, you've identified some, some issues that need to be worked on, but clearly you've got some things in mind that are going to help develop that for the future. So I think we're all optimistic about how that's going to develop in the future. And thank you for taking a few minutes to come and talk to us about it. Thank you very much.